Hello, here is Diddy Walker. Welcome to my channel again. As you can see, there is a rather rearrangement in my studio. And today we won't be talking about uh, Yamaha PSR directly. We will be talking about Looper. Yes, the Boss RC505 loop station and the computer. Because I will show you how you could use the loop station to make, uh, you know, a sketch, a project a draft of your music composition and then move it to computer to make a final arrangement inside the aw software so if you are interested in such a way of creation of music please stay tuned and we will start very soon all right, so at the beginning, a very quick introduction into Boss Loop Station. Basically, if you are interested how to connect it to Yamaha keyboard or any other software or hardware instrument to make some loops, please check the description. There is a video when I'm explaining the stuff, the usual stuff, the everyday tutorial, how to use it, basic steps. Now I have prepared a five track loop, which have on the first track some piano and pads, on the second track it has some saxophone soloing, on the third there is another variation of soloing, on the fourth track there is bass, and last of the fifth track there is another third variation of the saxophone. They are basically single play, the second, third and fifth are single play, and the bass and the main background ambience is the multiplayer. So basically, uh, my idea, maybe some other people also do it in this way, my idea for composing new music is to use the hardware looper and a keyboard or any other synth instrument to produce some nice loops. And this is a sketch, a draft, so a kind of, you know, um, first, let's call it, project first stage of the project and after i'm happy with the you know r main riffs or main lead tones chord progressions bass line and soloing i could move it to computer and you know make a final arrangement and in this video i will show you how to do this using the usb cable all right so setup basically now i'm not connected to computer because as soon as you connect your looper to computer it will go into usb storage mode basically there are two modes in the loop station first is the usb storage which is the default mode and the second is the audio midi link which is a super low latency audio interface i will also make a video about it because it's really interesting to use a boss loop station as audio interface yes you don't need to buy external audio interface if you have boss loop station and if you are interested in such a video give me a comment you know to encourage me to do it faster than i plan okay so connecting here on the uh, rear panel is a usb to host usb connection uh, it's a usb type d so from the other side you need to connect it to computer and what will happen if you connect it so Basically, you disconnect for a moment, and if you connect it again, sorry, all right, so we are connecting, both RC505 is preparing, and take a look in here, USB storage idling which means the USB storage is ready to communicate with the computer and basically all the other options of boss loop stations are disabled. If you want to, you know, make some changes in here, you need to leave the USB storage mode and I will show you it, how to do this. Maybe you may be wondering how to disable it. So basically, if you press right, he will ask sorry, exit, he will ask you, would you like to disconnect from computer? Press right to confirm, so I'm pressing right, and now it's disconnecting, and the uh, boss loop station is rebooting. I mean, it's going again into standard operation mode. I'm doing it to show you one another interesting and uh, important thing. 
Our loop is safe on bank preset 01 and the tempo is I need to zoom. Okay, as you can see, 70. It's very important to know which what tempo do you have. And if you from this state want to, you know, force to connect to computer again, you can do it by going to system and press 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 from the right 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 as soon as you find something like USB mode storage if you change it from MIDI and go again to storage exit as you can see it's again connects to computer so we are now again in the idling mode so we are ready to transfer files what why this device is not available to standard operation procedures when it's in a USB storage mode connection. Why? Because the memory is in read-only mode and it's ready to transfer data. So you cannot read, I mean, you can of course, but it could cause performance problems. So the software blocks you for using the device. Any knobs are disabled, so you are ready to connection with computer. Okay, so as you can hear the computer recognize again boss loop station and now we could switch to the computer. Alright, so if you are connected in the mode called USB storage, you start uh, typing um, this PC, so you actually go to the PC um, standard window and you will see here a boss loop station. You will you can see this is how it's uh, the same virtual disk drive if you're connecting USB memory stick, pen drive or external hard disk drive or I don't know video camera whatever you have. So basically you entering in here and you see a folder called Roland. Mm. I need to move to see. So Roland, you are entering there. You get two folders in here, data and wave. If you want to make a complete backup copy of your presets, you, you need to copy those two folders into hard disk on your computer. But now I only need these loops, which I have shown you at the beginning. So I go to wave and here are the folder names. And the very important thing is that this three first digits uh, is the bank number, the, the preset number. In our condition, it was zero, 01. So the first leading zero, you can discard it. So our loop and the second after this underscores uh, character is the number of tracks. So our loop is in folder from here to here. Okay, so those folder are with the wave files of our loops. If you enter a, in, inside those folder, for example, 0, 1, slash, I mean, uh, dash 1, you have the first track of preset number 1. But the, let's copy it. So I will select all those files, copy to clipboard. And then, for example, let's go to, I don't know, music. Let's create a folder, loop demo. And let's paste it. Of course, you need to copy it because after we disconnect the device, the files won't be, you know, could, could not be found by your daft software. So you need to copy it to your working, work to your computer, to hard disk drive of your computer. It's also very important from the performances. Uh, to, to be a good performance. So, okay, we have copied and now we could disconnect the boss loop station to use it as a standard audio interface or just play with it, whatever you, we want to do. But in the next part of the video, we will start Cubase software and we will do crazy things. I mean, I will show you how to prepare arrangements. So give me a moment and we continue. All right, so as you can see, I get FL Studio, Cubase, and Ableton Live. Analog Lab, an expansion pack from Yamaha. If you are interested in another DLW software, just give me a comment and I will also create a video to, with such a things. Today, I select and choose Cubase. Why Cubase? I think it's the 
easiest way to do this in Cubase if you have loops with, you know, prepared, pre-recorded wave files with the proper tempo and synchronized things. I mean, the interface, I think the interface is the most um, convenient. So I create an empty project. Okay, so I have switched to another software and record the screen directly. So basically I have started Cubase and reconfigured the Asia drivers because on my computer system I have two Asia drivers from Steinberg, original from Cubase and the FL Studio standard Asia drivers. And if they use the same uh, audio, of course, there is a conflict and I need to reconfigure it. So now how to import your tracks that you have copied from Boss RC505 into Cubase. Basically, the simplest way is to use drag and drop. So you open your window when you have copied them and just click and drag. Click and drag here. So the first channel shows up. We can rename it and call it Pads and Piano. Let's check if the driver works. Okay, it works. As you can hear now, this track is mono track. I mean, it's stereo, but only one channel is recorded. This is uh, because I recorded in, I record loops in this way. It's more convenient to use with drums. It's not a topic for today's video, but we will fix it in a moment. Okay, uh, it's not so important now because it's not a Cubase uh, tutorial. So let's copy the rest of them. Drag and drop. This is the saxophone. Let's call it saxophone one. Let's go to the beginning. As you can hear it plays. Um, the first, let's maybe let's finish copying and then we start setting up the BPM and the bars and bits because as you can see now our snap, our grid is not with the same scale like the loop. Why? Because here is the tempo, the, the tempo of the project. The grid is standard grid to bars. Uh, there is uh, quantizing into 60, every 60 note, but the overall tempo should be altered to 70. This is why you have to uh, check the tempo to remember the tempo that you have used in Lupe and set the same in Cubase here on this moment. And as you can see now, if we zoom in, zoom out, H shortcut, it's an eight bar loop and it's perfectly in the grid. So now you can make arrangements. You can du duplicate the things that you want to duplicate. Uh, for example, the saxophone, let's be here. Uh, this was the bass, so let's rename it to bass. We could also use drag and drop to rearrange those tracks. So the bass will be the second. Let's continue with the bass. Maybe the bass will go in in the second loop, then the saxophone, then the second variation of the saxophone and third variation. G to zoom out, let's move. Just duplicate again. So you can play it like the, I don't know, Lego. <laughs> so you just duplicate what do you want, duplicate, and now you can listen the arrangement. Okay, so I think you get the idea. So the let's summarize all of this. So basically, you use a Boss Loop Station to record loops with your favorite instrument. Doesn't matter it's a hardware instrument or it's a, a software instrument. It could be also analog lab, whatever. If you if you are interested in such a way to connect the computer back to Loop Station and record as audio, not a MIDI, but audio 
and then use a looper audio tracks to mix it this uh, has some disadvantages this 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 concept this approach has some disadvantages but also have a significant advantages and disadvantages is that you don't need super cpu power you won't have problem with latency and clicking and hissing of the sound if you use a lot of plugins in your DAF software because we have recorded audio and but maybe uh, stop this uh, <laughs> digression again so basically you get audio tracks perfectly synchronized in perfect tempo because it was recorded in looper you could you know practice to do them perfect when you uh, think they are perfect you just move it here to DAV by copying those wave files from the USB storage mode and then you add tracks on Cubase or any other software if you are interested I can also make a video about the same concept about FL Studio or or Ableton those um, are the free DAV software that I have now so if you are interested more about this topic or maybe uh, another approaches uh, just give me a comment we'll start discussion and maybe we could make a video for it so thanks for watching it was bb walker see you later don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel and if you want me to do it more okay so bye see you later